I use several methods and techniques to detect and remove viruses from computers. It doesn't matter Windows or Apple. Basically, I'm going to show you several uh, methods that I used before and I had experience and I think it will work for you as well. So basically, most people what they do if you have a virus or spyware and you can't use your computer properly and you can't get to the internet, um, you buy antivirus software and you try to remove the viruses. Most of the time, you really it's too late to um, to get uh, rid of the viruses because they already been infected your uh, computer system files and maybe uh, corrupted some files. So um, what you're doing by using a new antivirus software is good, but not necessarily will remove and clean your computer. So is there any other way or methods that you can use in addition of that to remove viruses? The answer is yes, there is. And basically, I'm going to show you a couple of uh, ways that you may apply and see by yourself. And sometimes um, it works, but if it doesn't work, then you maybe look to the worst scenario, which is you um, format and basically wipe your hard drive and start uh, again. So it's very important not to go um, straight and wipe your hard drive or start clean unless if you really you tried all the options okay let's get started normally when you have a virus you don't know um, about where is the virus uh, is hidden and it's executed through the uh, executable file or several files that infected your computer you should start the computer in safe mode or safe mode with network so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to shut it down and restart. So as the computer starting up, I'm pressing F8 now. It doesn't matter what uh, model you have or brand or um, uh, different type of computer it's you press F8 in Windows based operating system and now we have here the screen I'm booting from the hard drive so you maybe have this screen come up or not um, but you just um, select the hard drive in this case and press F8 now we get the screen where it says safe mode up here so what I'm going to do I'm going to go up here and save mode with network so I have the access of using the internet if I want and that's one of the uh, options that you maybe it's uh, it's good because you can use other tools to um, to run scanning over the internet okay so I'm going to access to this computer as owner. You maybe have administrator, you can get as administrator, but if the owner has the same privilege and permissions as administrator, so it's the same. So we're going to get um, through owner or maybe your name. So it comes with this screen, Windows running in safe mode. I press it. Yes. Now I'm here on the desktop. Most of the time, the viruses or the executable uh, virus file, it will run when you have um, a profile that it's already infected. So I'm using now the owner. So one of the techniques you use, I'm going to go to Tools, Folder Options, View, Show Hidden Files and Folders. Normally under Downloads, you will see there is so many files and temporary files that you maybe have to clean up so what I'm going to do here um, I'm going to go to C drive and then look under a document and setting owner in your case is your name 
or owner it doesn't matter but that's where most of the time you have to start to um, to check for executable or viruses um, manually even if you have a security program installed in your computer so we go to local setting and in local setting you can see Tim so normally you should delete the files under Tim because most likely the viruses will have some files hidden and saved here so I'm going to highlight all of them and then just delete and it asked me a question yes to all so it's all cleaned and went to the recycle bin application data application data is where some viruses they get uh, saved and downloaded under one of those folders so you go to Tim and you see it's clean there is nothing but most of the time you will see there is um, some files there so you have to look there as well to check or you go to computer C drive documents and setting owner and then you can see here start menu you just check here if there is any program that suspicious or it's not something that you installed and you think it's that's maybe the executable file that you maybe um, can remove so in our case here there is nothing unusual so that's fine control panel under internet options you clear the cookies by delete browsing history delete and click OK so it's already deleted and under LAN setting you just double check if you don't use proxy then you make sure this is antique program files now program files sometimes you have a very obvious a folder created that it you think it's it's maybe it's the virus so you can delete that so that's the other things you probably you need to investigate and see your files so basically this is the easy way to have a look first and see if you can find anything and remove and then continue and do full scan for your computer to um, search for viruses. There are other ways also to use uh, through the internet because you access to the computer with safe mode with networking and those uh, tools you can use through the internet it will help you also in addition of what you did um, to also to remove the viruses and hidden um, executable uh, malware that may be infected your computer if you can get your browser uh, running if you can't then you maybe have a problem of um, using the tools through the internet because like some software companies I use um, they provide you with online scanning and it has some of them some very good algorithms that even when you try to scan online in real time it will um, uh, try to uh, find out through your registry uh, entry keys which I didn't mention or go through with you because those software tools they're more effective and faster so you can use that in conjunction of what you did by going through different folders and removing um, so that's the other part and also some of those tools allow you to reboot the computer and scan the computer while it's booting in DOS before you start uh, Windows some of those software tools as well will allow you to access to the hard drive C drive and all the hidden fo folders including the root directory in Windows and the C drive through the DOS so you will boot the computer and then when it started um, it will start doing scanning and basically that is very significant advantage because um, if there is any uh, hidden executable files um, start with your account or profile uh, login name for Windows um, the antivirus program will interfere and will stop this executable file and delete them before you start Windows so once you get uh, login 
to Windows, you don't need uh, to do the scan again because this is how it works. To get more info about uh, those softwares I just mentioned and combat any viruses or spyware, um, you can uh, contact me in one of the links below and um, I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.